Hi, I'm Ron Boji, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Coming to America, him and my grandfather had one dream, and that was to make a better life for me and my sisters and our family and generations to come. With that one goal, my dad showed us that with determination, resilience, sacrifice, and love, anything is possible in life. I was born in August 3rd of 1968, and uh, shortly afterwards, on December the 18th of the same year, we migrated to the United States. When I graduated from Michigan State in May of 1993, there was really no position for me in the development industry. My father is a grocer. Uh, there weren't any developments that were taking place. So ironically, I went to a person that means the most to me, Father Manuel Boji, and I spoke to him and I said, Uncle, I'm a little bit of a quagmire right now. I don't really know which direction I should go. So he advised me about a family who's got a computer chain in Sacramento, California, called Computer Warehouse. So I went to Sacramento for a year. I trained there. And uh, after my training was done, they gave me three choices. I could either open a location in Grand Rapids, in Lansing, or in Toledo. I chose Lansing. About two years later, we got an unsolicited offer for a sliver of land. Had no idea why somebody wanted that. Lo and behold, it was Rite Aid. So my dad, and again, in his fortitude and his wisdom, he said, son, we're not gonna take the money and, and use it. We're gonna do a 1031 exchange, a real estate transaction where you actually take all the dollars and you invest it into something else. At that time, I was married only a couple of years. I wanted my percentage. I wanted to be able to buy a home for my wife and I and my one-year-old daughter. And he said, son, either you're gonna be with me or you're not. Of course, I chose to be with him. And from that day of May 8th of 1998, we bought the former Michigan National Tower now renamed the Boji Tower, and that's where our career started, really a Boji group. He was successful. I mean, he was able that to be a franchisee of the computer warehouse of the Nofali family. And from there, things start moving to a different direction. And I believe their hard work. I mean, dad, even mom for a period of time was working with them. The mentality of running business in a, so to say, modern times, all these elements, all these factors were able to make a first seed of a business that will grow to a different level. Ron has taken a very difficult business and that is, I classify it as economic development, working with the state of Michigan primarily. It's been a pleasure to watch him manage the process, not only the budget process, the individual politicians, both Republicans and Democrats, governors and others, to make sure that the people of the state of Michigan are well served by the buildings, the projects that Ron's been involved with all across the state of Michigan. Boji Group is strong. Boji Group is strong not only in its employees, but in its partnerships that it's got across the board. And where we've been successful is really by uh, revitalizing communities. We're building a regional campus in the city of Detroit off of Seven Mile that deals with a crisis center that we uh, did a joint venture with Wayne County Mental Health. Uh, we're also successful in a new health and human services on the campus did a large development in Royal Oak with Henry Ford Health System. We were able to bring a major medical office building along with a brand new city hall, police headquarters, a parking deck and a downtown park. We have six different developments that are going on here in Birmingham, but we've never forgotten our roots in Lansing. We're doing a dynamic opportunity over there with a brand new city hall and really making a transformational redevelopment in our capital city. We continue to give back, continue to work hard and and change communities. Working in the medical field, what I admire most about my dad and his success is the ability he has to persevere throughout all obstacles. Whether it's, you know, having some difficulties getting a deal finished or working with difficult partnerships, he always shows his perseverance through very strong leadership. And I think that's something that he has shown to my family and that we've all kind of picked up on. The one thing I will carry out through my lifetime is that I can always talk to him even when I don't want to and that I will always be clean and organized and that's what he taught me. So my dad's got a lot of visions and uh, we call them Louisisms. 
and they're all across the, the new office that we have. We actually named our newest building in downtown Lansing. It was the former Senate building called the Farnham, and we renamed it the Louis with a 25 by 10 foot mural of dad and all of his wisdom. When my dad says you're either with me or not, he knows exactly what he's saying to his son. He's challenging me. I like to see Ilani, my son, take this one to the second level, take care of his employees, because they are his backbone, and his relationship with the people, whether they are his partners, or whether they are municipalities or other, deliver more than you promise. Dad put me in a lot of tough situations, not to have me fail, but to see how I can succeed. And during those tough and enduring days, he was always there next to me to make sure that I didn't fail. But I really never knew he was right there behind me. He just made sure that I kept moving forward. As a wife and supporting partner to Ron in his business endeavors, my biggest strength is providing stability, not only for him, for our children and in our home. He goes through a lot of ups and downs and I feel that when you have a home you can come to where there is love, understanding and friendship, you can do anything. We've had a lot of challenges in our life. Ironically enough, when it all started 25, 30 years ago when I graduated from Michigan State and, and drove to, to Sacramento, um, the couple of dollars that my parents would send to me, because I literally lived in an apartment on a, um, on a mattress, um, eating TV dinners and spam and just praying, those were the tough days. Those were the days that you said to yourself, I'm gonna endure. And then opening up a business where people really do not have the, the faith in you to be able to be successful. Those are the days that you remember. You remember when your bank loans are due and you didn't know how you'd be able to pay them. So if you can't go through those bad times, those tough times, then you'll never be able to understand what the good times are all about. To be ambitious and to be determined and to be resilient are the, the elements of success in, in life. I urge really the uh, teenagers, the adults, to not be scared to take some risk in their life. When I was a young girl, he always taught me three things. The three most important things in life. Family, faith, and relationships. Relationships are so powerful to my dad because he built such strong relationships with everyone he knows. We'll even be walking around and he'll know someone. And the way people speak so highly of him is just like how my family speaks of him. He is an amazing father, he's an amazing husband, he's an amazing friend, and he's an amazing business person. To quote one of the uh, greatest presidents of all time, Ronald Reagan, the future is not for the lighthearted, it is for the brave. To be able to make successes and to be able to move forward, you've got to understand something. When you look in the mirror, you do not only see yourself, you see the team around you. And that team is there every day. Find your right team, find your right group, and together you will succeed. I think by far that is the most important advice I could give to anybody. The world cannot be conquered by yourself. It can be conquered with the people that you surround yourself.